Hey, I'm Andy Lambrecht. I'm a junior studying electrical engineering at the University of Minnesota. Uh, this spring break, I had the opportunity to help lead and go on the Alaska mission trip, um, where we went up to Anchorage for the full uh, week of spring break to help serve the homeless up there. Um, one of the big things that actually happened on this trip was God opened the door for us to do a lot of street ministry or homeless ministry, where we go out and we actually talk to the homeless people that are up in Anchorage. And Anchorage has this like massive homeless problem. So where we were actually going was a hockey arena called the Sullivan Arena that was set aside as a big homeless shelter as like an overflow for the normal shelters. And at the time that we went up, there was over a hundred people staying inside of this hockey arena. And people would come outside and we'd have the opportunity to speak with them when they came out. And just by talking to these people, I learned so much and God impacted my life as well as theirs. And some of the things that he, he taught me was first that the poor actually many times have greater faith than we do. When I was talking to some of the people there, they would often say things like, oh, like God told me to come outside so I could talk to you guys. Or like, I know God's going to take care of me even when I have nothing and things like that. And it's just completely baffling to someone like me who has so much that these people are relying on God when they have nothing. And often they would actually give people on our trips like small gifts, like bracelets or books and things like that, that would just, when they have nothing to be giving gifts to us who have everything. It's amazing how much these people we can learn from how to be a better Christian. Um, they also taught me that they're not actually that much different than us. Um, a lot of times we can put homeless people off to the side. Actually, they're very, they're, they're really, they really are people. And a lot of times it's just weird circumstances that get them into homelessness. When I was talking to an elderly couple outside the Sullivan Arena, the only reason that they were there was because the husband got Alzheimer's and then he lost his job and they weren't able to figure out the whole uh, social security program or how to get unemployment benefits. And so they're stuck inside the, the Sullivan Arena with hundreds of other people with cots that are set six feet apart and just terrible conditions to be living in. But it wasn't, it wasn't because they'd done anything wrong. It was because the husband developed Alzheimer's. Like these people really are like real people that just happen to be into a bad circumstance. It could happen to me, it could happen to you, it could happen to any of us. Um, but in that, God was really showing us that when we go to places like Sullivan Arena, when we talk to these people and when we share God's love with them, like he actually can bring joy and healing. Um, there's one guy, his, uh, his name was uh, Eric, that he came out of the Sullivan Arena screaming and shouting and just completely like unapproachable. Everyone's like, oh gosh, this guy is like scary to be around. Um, but after he stopped shouting, one of the people on the trip went up and talked to him. And he just turned into like this amazing, nice guy. And he is like broke down at some point saying like, it's just so nice to know that somebody cares. It's so nice to know that somebody cares. And that's what I think most people that went on this trip are going to bring back is that like, you don't need to be giving money to people. You don't need to be giving food to people, but actually like what people that are in need, like homeless people need is relationship and they need to know that somebody cares and that's like God actually loves them where they're at. And that was what was so powerful on our trip was being able to pray with these people. And that's what we want to be able to bring back to Minnesota, to the people of Dinky Town, to the people all around Minneapolis, to people wherever city that we're a part of, is that if you care and you talk to these people and you pray with them or for them, like that is actually how God is going to enact change in their life. It was a great trip. Uh, just super hyped to be a part of it. So thank you.